Welcome back to Broncos and Parts Garage. My name is Chris. If you're new to the channel, please wait to the end of the video to see additional links for content we've already created. I'm jumping back into my 1996 Ford Bronco. In an earlier video, we changed the rear differential fluid. Today, we're going to change the front differential fluid. I've got a vacuum pump, some gear lube. Let's get some tools and get started. The first thing you'll want to do is make sure your differential fluid is at operating temperature. You'll do this for two reasons. One, it'll flow easier when we pump it out. And two, you want to emulsify any impurities that are floating around in the fluid. The next thing you'll want to do is find your fill plug. It's the square plug located on the front of the differential on the driver's side of the vehicle. These are very stubborn to remove, so you may need to use some heat or some penetrating oil. Just be careful. And you'll also want to clean around the opening before you take it out. Mine has already been loosened. Okay, let's get this plug out. It's normal for some differential fluid to flow out after the plug's been removed. It just means that it was filled to the correct level last time. When this fluid gets warm, it expands, and that's why it's overflowing. I've got the vacuum hose hooked up. This end of the hose will go in the differential to vacuum the fluid out. It'll get pumped out of this hose back into this waste oil container. Be sure to get the hose to the bottom of the differential. You want to make sure you get as much fluid out as possible. You'll want to wiggle this hose around a little bit, move it around to make sure you get all the differential fluid out of the bottom. The discharge line is empty and it looks like I've got all of it contained inside this used oil container. And from the looks of it, I've got about one and a half quarts inside there. Let's pull this hose out and refill the differential. Before I start filling the differential, I'm going to gently wipe the opening here, pulling any type of debris out towards me, not pushing it in. I've simply reversed the siphon hose. We'll simply draw new fluid out and pump it back into the differential. We've got differential fluid coming out of the fill hole, which means this differential is full. Now it's a matter of getting the plug back in. As you've seen in other videos, I like to refinish as much as I can before I replace stuff. So I was able to bead blast the fill plug and repaint it, and now I'm gonna insert it. We're going to do our best to clean this area up to make sure we don't get any false leaks. And we'll get this plug tightened up. Some of you may want to put some anti-seize compound on the threads of the plug. I'm not going to because I just bead blasted mine and it's pretty clean. This is also a tapered fit. So I tighten it till it's snug and then go another quarter turn. That should do it. Well, that wraps up the proper procedure for changing your front differential fluid. If you've been following the channel, then you know we've already done a video on changing out your rear differential fluid. If you have any questions or concerns, please put them in the comment section below. I do read them and I try to respond to as many as I can. If you liked the video and found it informative, please like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. And I look forward to our next video. Thanks for watching. Oh.